Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Today we're going to review the Great Stuff Pro Series construction adhesive, also the Great Stuff foam cleaner, and the sharpshooter gun made by Dow. And um, from what I've read, um, my lumber my lumber guy, he said, John, try this out. It's really fast. It goes a long way. The bottles are kind of expensive. This is 2023. And um, this bottle is like 34 bucks, but I have a lot of these beams to laminate. I got to make some nine and a half inch um, headers, and I have to laminate three of these together for my headers. And what I like to do is I like to glue them and screw them together, all three of them, and make a really solid header. And so today we're gonna we're gonna demonstrate this great stuff. Uh, construction adhesive and it's kind of a little review I've never used it before and I'll let you know what I think let's get started there he goes, it's a working man he's trying to make a living any way he can and he'll break his back for a buck too oh there ain't no shame in what he do oh work it out It has an adjustable nozzle on the back. You need to shake this for 60 seconds too. Okay, that was about 60 seconds. You hold it upright like that. And let's go ahead and glue these together. I'm gonna, what I've learned is if I do three passes, the coverage is really good. So let's go ahead and give it a try. First impression, it's really fast. These boards are 16 feet long. Okay, that's all the glue I need for that. We'll go ahead and stick these together. I basically use some clamps to clamp them flush with each other. And then I just go through and screw it together. I put screws every two feet. Of course my battery's dead. You know, a while back, I gave a review on the Bauer Harbor Freight Drill, and um, it's a good drill for the money. It's um, it's powerful, but I would have to say it's not as good as the Milwaukee. It is, it, but it's half the price, or even a third of the price. Anyway, let me get to screwing this off. It's not as powerful. I'm gonna switch to the, the Milwaukee. I'm basically doing screws every every two feet, just to ensure that it's sandwiched together good.
Okay, one thing I can tell you, it's extremely sticky. All right, there you go, the Sharpshooter XB using the Great Stuff construction adhesive. One thing I noticed is um, I did three three foam things on, on, on this beam, and um, I noticed that it squished out. You can see it squished all the way out and it squished all the way out on this side. So I think it's getting good coverage. This is basically just a, I'm basically creating a giant LVL header. Um, sandwiching these together. Well, I got a lot more to make. Would I buy it again? I think so. I guess um, I'm gonna have to see how far this goes, but it did do this one big beam and I have a feeling that I'm gonna be able to do one more big beam, maybe even a couple more. Anyway, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get started on my project, but so far I'd have to give this a thumbs up. It's been around for a while, but it's the first time I used it. I think it's really good for subfloors because if you take your TGI, your stringer, you could really, you could really go fast with this as opposed to a caulking gun. Okay, I thought I would do a little follow-up. I was able to, um, I was able to laminate three of these LVLs for for each beam, and I did four of these 16-foot beams. Or I think they're actually they're 17 feet. Um, but I thought I would follow up and show you how to clean it. And basically it's pretty simple. You, you got all your, your glues in there drying up. Screw this on. Spray it away from you. So you got a nice clear, clear stream and then you're done. And I don't, this thing, this thing's empty, but I almost think I could have got away with doing one more, but I didn't want to start it and not be able to finish it. Anyway, thanks very much for watching the video and uh, yeah, great stuff pro series. I can see where doing um, eye joists and trusses would be really good. It did work good for what I wanted to do and it seems really sticky. So um, normally what I do, normally when I make these I'll use type bond and I'll tr use a trowel and trowel it on. And I don't know if that's better or not but that's what I used for years and it, it's really strong. But I wanted to try something a little faster and easier and this was faster and easier. I don't know if it's better but um, it did, it did the trick and, and actually it doesn't, on these, the engineering calls for these just be sandwiched together and usually you guys just nail them. I like to glue them together just because it, it stiffens up the whole thing. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Later. There he goes, it's a working man. He's trying to make a living any way he can. And he'll break his back for a buck two. Ain't no shame in what he do